Well, hello and welcome to day three. Are you excited? I am. And do you have the mind of Christ yet? Well, don't worry. If you're still struggling, you've got a couple more days during this VBS to be encouraged even more. I want to talk to you about having the mind of Christ. This is our verse of study for today. And I'm so excited about this because we've all week, we've been talking about having the mind of Christ. You've been hearing Romans 12 too, renewing your mind, being transformed from this world, but by renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Well, I hope you're continuing on that path. I just want to encourage you a little bit before you go to your VBS class. Let me ask you a question. How much does the human brain weigh? How much does your brain weigh? Do you know? This brain right here, did you guys get a good look? This brain right there weighs three pounds. The human brain weighs three pounds. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's not very heavy and you can't really feel the weight of your brain. But something that does weigh us down can be our thoughts sometimes. And when we think thoughts of that aren't encouraging and hopeful, well, they can discourage us from moving forward. You know, when I was young, and even I play this game with my kids sometimes, it's called I Spy. And what we would say is I spy with my little eye, and then you would name the color. And then the kid would try to think of what you were thinking of. Fortunately, we don't have to play I Spy with God's mind. The way we can figure out what he's thinking is through his word. And not only that, the more time we spend with him, God will let us know what he's thinking and the way he answers us and talks to us through prayers. You know, the Bible says in Isaiah 55 verses 8 through 9 that God's thoughts are not our thoughts. And this is what he says. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Verse 9 goes and says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So that means that whatever we're thinking, God is thinking 10 times better and 10 times bigger than that. And so with that being said, I think we should start thinking bigger thoughts. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God also says, for I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give you hope in your final outcome. God's hopeful about your future. He has plans for your health, your happiness, and your future successes. And I'm excited about that, aren't you? To know that we serve a God that is hopeful about our future and that he has great plans for us, plans that are going to lead to peace and that is going to be give and, and that is going to lead to a successful and brighter future. And I hope you're excited about that as well. Well, I'm not going to hold you for long because I know you have to go to your VBS session. But I encourage you to start being hopeful about your future. Start thinking big thoughts. And if you are weak in your thoughts, connect with God. Read his word. Encourage yourself. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And that you have a God who is thinking good of you. And he has great plans for you. And with that, I encourage you to be encouraged. I hope you've been enjoying this week. Enjoy day three in your VBS session. We'll see you next time.